Camera one. Camera two. Camera three, what it do? Nikon. Okay. We ready? Hey everyone, welcome to Wine Diplomat. I'm Eureka, and today we're going to talk about buying wine based solely on the label. And today, we are a pretty good treat. Today, we are going to be talking about Borderline Red Blend out of Sonoma County, California. So this was a wine, when I was walking at Total Wine, uh, it's, it spoke to me, you know, it, it kind of evoked a lot of the same artwork that I see in the Orin Swift and Prisoner and uh, a few other of the of these just really like like uh, with Orin Swift there's a one called Abstract and Machete and like uh, the Eight Years in the Desert and they do all these really 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 cool outside of the box uh, labels but those wines all tend to be you know, forty, fifty dollars or more in some cases. This this was twenty nine ninety nine at at the total wine that I went to. So I was like, let's do this. Uh, so this it on the front label it doesn't say anything. I mean, it doesn't say anything at all. It's just this kind of like uh, like this. Mm, how would I say? It? It's kind of like fear and loathing. Uh, or in Las Vegas meets like, uh, uh, like how would I, meets like Big Lebowski, you know, with this picture, this guy with a beard and a goatee. Uh, it was just, and it's it's there's like tire tracks or like these weird squiggly lines throughout the. It's kind of shiny. The lines are shiny where the the picture's matte. It's a really really. Uh, eye-popping, eye-catching label, and that's exactly what this video series is about. So, on the other side, though, it, it since the front label here has nothing to talk about wine, there's no name of the wine, there's no uh, uh, vintage, there's no numbers, letters, there's nothing. There's just uh, our, our buddy here. But on the back side of it, it will say Borderline, it's from 2017, and it's from Sonoma County, California. But even then, it just says Sonoma County Red Blend. That It doesn't tell us what the grapes are. It doesn't tell us what to expect. And, you know, they grow a lot of different grapes in Sonoma. Uh, even when you're reading beyond that, it just says, Do you ever feel like you're on the edge? We do. Sourcing from exceptional vineyards throughout Sonoma County, we tow the line every harvest as we push the grapes to peak ripeness, bringing you the richest, most vibrant, lush blend possible. So it, it, it really doesn't go into depth. I mean, that's a lot of really good marketing words, but that doesn't tell us, it's, oh, it's going to be lush, okay? It's, it, but it doesn't, it, we push the peak to ripeness. Uh, okay, uh, that's cool. It, it also says, um, it'll say, vented and bottled by Borderline Wines, uh, right here it'll say, vented and bottled. Now, there's a lot of different terminology you'll see on a, on a label. It might say cellared and bottled, vented and bottled, but that particular terminology doesn't let us know that it was made on site and then put in the bottle at a particular winery. Like, there's no borderline winery there's no building that they would do this in so i kind of had to do a little bit of research about what are we because we don't know what the blend is and they don't have their own website there's no borderline winery website but a little bit of detective work you know how it is sometimes you gotta go a little deeper and so what we did is uh, we looked up the trademark of borderline winery and it's owned by a company called wine hooligans on Wine Hooligans website, they uh, they didn't have Borderline on their website, but when you call their phone number, and now I'm getting like I'm going like super detective mode here. On their website, had their phone number. You call the phone number, and it said 
another company's name, Sonoma 980. So now we're going deeper down the rabbit hole. Okay, what's Sonoma 980? And then we finally get to where I, I, I got all the information I needed. Sonoma 980 is a company that does private labels. In this case, uh, they did a private label for Total Wine. And, but it doesn't say where they got their juice from. So it could be uh, any number of wineries in Sonoma County. That at least we do know. Uh, the word Sonoma County at least let us know this is from one area in California. Okay. So once we figured that out, we don't know who made it, but we do know it's a private label for Total Wine um, by Wine Hooligans and Sonoma 980. So... So, and they have a bunch of wine uh, labels when you look through that you would see when you walk down the aisle of, of Total Wine. So, so it's kind of like, uh, what's the message? What's the what's the point they're trying to get across? I mean, they're definitely with all of this artwork, uh, they're trying to evoke that similar style of the Orange Swift, which is a very 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 popular uh, winemaker and brand now. And so, yeah, it's it's definitely not going to be, I think, a traditional tasting wine. I don't think this is trying to be um, uh, it, 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 just kind of average humdrum. This wants to be noticed. It wants to be picked off that shelf, right? And so, you know, a guy like me, I got a beard. He's got a beard. He's got long hair. I got long hair. Pretty cool. Speaks to my, this is my, this is my people. This is speaking my language. So let's get into it and let's see what the juice tastes like. So uh, this wine was $29.99, so it's just under $30. Bucks. So I'm kind of expecting a lot out of this wine. I'm, I'm kind of expecting it to, to wow me a bunch. When I was able to look on the text sheet, uh, which if you ever really want to get into it, when you're looking at a text sheet, it'll tell you what the blend is. So this is 68% Merlot, and I love Merlot. I think Merlot is an underrated grape. Uh, that's gotten a bad rap over the last 15 years. Merlot is a phenomenal grape that makes amazing wine. Well, uh, the rest of it is a uh, 28% Syrah, a little bit of Grenache, a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. All those grapes, Cabernet Sauvignon blends really well. Grenache typically is blended uh, in different ones. Syrah is a wonderful uh, blending grape, especially with Grenache. And then you get Merlot. So it's kind of like my, my wine geek uh, buddies that are watching this. You know, it is kind of like uh, Bordeaux meets Rhone Valley, right? You've got Grenache and Syrah, like a GSM blend. You've got Merlot and Cabernet like a, uh, like a right bank Bordeaux. And that's, that's kind of where I'm, uh, kind of where I'm looking at this to fall somewhere in there. Sonoma County, I'm, it's got, little higher alcohol, a little bigger ripeness to it. And that's just what I expect from what I've read and what I have seen from the, from the text sheet. Yeah, right off the bat, I'm getting the, the dark plums, the, the blackberry. Not so much the black cherry that I would expect out of uh, California Merlot, but, I mean, it's, it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely got that tart, dark, deep, dark purple fruit that I'm looking for. Uh, and it's pitch black looking at it. I'll put this on camera here. It is like a super dark purple color. It is uh, completely uh, uh, opaque. You cannot see through this wine. Uh, when you swirl it a little bit, it, it lightens up. But I mean, this is this is about as pitch black as you're going to see a wine. Um so it's just, it's speaking to me, ripe fruit, deep, dark color. Uh, not a, I get, there's a little bit of tobacco, kind of like a cigar box. Like if you, if you, you open up that box and, and stick right in there, you get a little bit of wood, you get a little bit of the tobacco, but it's not overbearing. Yeah. So it's intriguing. It's, it's getting me in. It, it's it's not off-putting at all. All right. Get the first one, that acidity. Yeah, you got to get used to it a little bit, but now we'll go in on the second, and now I'll really be able to judge it. Okay. 
Kind of get it all around the tongue there. Yeah, okay. This has uh, a high level of, of, of fruitiness, like, in a good way. It's not a sweet wine at all. There's almost, there's a little bit of residual sugar that I can kind of taste, but um, it's offset with a good level of acidity. Um, there's good, it's not a very tannic wine, right? The tannins we've talked about in other videos. There's not a lot of those uh, earthy or like woody or leafy green flavors. There's none of that here. There's a touch of, uh, of uh, there's like a touch of vanilla from oak aging maybe. Uh, it might also be a different way they make the wine called malolactic fermentation. But it's not overbearing where it's like cream and vanilla and butter. There's not a lot of that. It's got a lot of those tart blackberry um now i'm tasting the the cherry it's not as sweet like a cherry cola but it get a little bit of black cherry i get the blackberries yeah um yeah it's a, it's all right uh being a little critical though i don't know if it's i don't know if it's 30 dollars uh it's it's not bad though i'd feel a lot better if i paid 19 to 25 bucks for this wine though. $30, I think they're pushing it. But it's definitely got the alcohol that would stand up to, to, to like hearty dishes. Yeah, you could do steak with this wine. You could do barbecue. You could do something that's like got a little bit more uh, uh, boisterous flavor in your food. This would not taste like water right next to it. Yeah, so I mean, that, that's kind of what I'm thinking, like, where would you drink this wine? I, I think, I don't really think this is on the higher end of, like, fine wine where you, you would have this, uh, uh, I mean, it's kind of somewhere in the middle, it's uh, of, like, I, it's not bad, it's not great, it's good, um, I wish the price was a little lower, though, now that I'm tasting it, but... I see what they're going for. Uh, the 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 picture on it, it's not really evoking that same like they're they're talking about all this like pushing the limits and pushing the boundaries and going play yeah you know, like uh, the bo literally the borderline. It's like you're almost oh crazy. This wasn't like overloading me with fruit or flavor. It wasn't overloading me with um, with a deep long finish. It wasn't pushing the borders of what I've thought about wine, um, which is what their marketing is, is, is telling us it's going to do. And that's an okay wine. Uh, this isn't... Yeah, um, and I'd like to see as it opens up. It, we have it open for about an hour uh, as we've been kind of tasting it throughout. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I just, I, that's kind of where I'm at, where I'm like, it smells really, it's got a good aroma, it's got a good flavor, I think this would be pretty versatile, uh, I just wish it was a, a, a little less expensive, so, um, all in all though, if you get a chance to go to your Total Wine, you know, check it out, Borderline, for $29.99, um, I'm sure you might have a little different, especially if you like Sonoma County. I think if you were coming from Old World Wines, if you were drinking Rhone's, uh, GSM blends, things like that, and you were f starting to try to come over to uh, California wines from the Chateauneuf du Pop and Cote du Rhone and like Gigandas and stuff like that, this would definitely be in your wheelhouse. That's what I would do for the Old World wine drinker that's coming into New World wine. Um, but on the flip side too, if you're just if you've been drinking nothing but California cabs and you happen to try this and you dig it, there's a whole world of French wine the the, uh, the Gigandas, the Vaccarat, the 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 Chateauneuf du Pop that are going to be in that same price point of about thirty bucks that I think might actually be better examples of what they're they're going for here. But I don't know, deep dark flavor, good aromas, pretty decent wine. So. Uh, all in all, I have no complaints. I'm going to pour myself a little bit more to drink off camera here. But if there's anything, if there's one thing that you could do for us before you get out of here, you've lasted this long, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We do wine videos every single week. And we have playlists of wine 
by the label like we've done wine by the just the points oh i got 99 points by wine critic what does that mean we go into that we also do blind tastings and those are one of the the, the most fun things we do on the channel and even more if you have comments questions leave them in our comments below so give us that like give us a subscribe let us know what you think of it have you had this wine before do you love it is it your favorite wine is it the worst wine you've ever had let us know we are willing and able for everything you want so again from all of us at wine diplomat my name is eureka this was borderline sonoma county from 2017 cheers and we'll see you next video That's the, I got that. I got that recorded. That's the that's the that's the ending.